Hello everyone, welcome back to Mama in the Kitchen. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a roasted leg of lamb. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the ingredients. Over here I have some fresh rosemary, and then I'm gonna be using about 10 garlic cloves, five tablespoons of olive oil, and then you're also gonna need some vinegar, just white distilled vinegar, this is about one tablespoon. And then this is ground um, cardamom, about one tablespoon. We're gonna need one cinnamon stick, and then also cinnamon powder. I'm gonna be writing the exact measurements in the description box below, so just check that out. And then the black pepper, I'm gonna be using about half a teaspoon, a pinch of Sazon, about 10 bay leaves, one and a half tablespoons of salt, about 10 pieces of whole cardamom, and then one tablespoon of seven spice. And then, of course, I have my leg of lamb. This is um, a seven pound leg of lamb, so you can use bigger or smaller, but it'll just be different times um, of baking. So now we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is make sure you clean your lamb. We went ahead and cleaned it with water and vinegar very well. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put little cuts into the meat like this. We're gonna do that from the top and bottom. There's no particular number, just every few inches, cut it a little bit. That way we can put some of the seasoning into the lamb and it'll be more flavorful. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and season the lamb with some salt. So we're using one and a half tablespoons of salt. You wanna evenly season it from the top and the bottom and just rub it in there and get it into those cuts that we made. So after we season the meat, now we're gonna go ahead and make the seasoning rub. So in a bowl, we have 10 garlic cloves that we minced. I'm gonna be adding five tablespoons of olive oil, one tablespoon of vinegar, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, two tablespoons of seven spice, and about one tablespoon of ground cardamom. And we're just gonna mix that all in. And then we're gonna be adding about two tablespoons of chopped fresh rosemary. And then we're gonna be rubbing this onto the lamb. So you're gonna rub it from the top and bottom. You wanna make sure that you evenly rub it and then you're gonna be putting it into those cuts and that will give it more flavor. All right, and this is what it's gonna look like after adding the seasoning rub. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna top it off with a tiny bit of Sazon. This is just for color and we're gonna tap it in like this. And then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cover this with aluminum foil and we're gonna let it marinate for two hours. Now, we only have two hours and that's why we're only doing it for two hours, but if you have more time, it's actually better and it'll be more flavorful if you marinate it for a longer time. So you could even leave it overnight, but we're gonna be doing it for two hours today. So it's been almost two hours, so we're about to take the lamb out of the fridge, but before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and get our spices ready. So over here, I have the cardamom. I wanna go ahead and open them so it can have more flavor and just cut up your cinnamon stick. And then we have our bay leaves. I have 10 bay leaves here, one cinnamon stick, and um, 10 pieces of cardamom. And then I also chopped up some onions. This is about two small onions. So you're just gonna put those in the pan with the bay leaves, the cinnamon sticks, and the cardamom pieces. And now we're gonna go ahead and cover this. We're gonna cover it with two layers of aluminum, heavy duty aluminum foil, and you wanna make sure that you tightly seal it. This is very important. So you're gonna do the first layer first and you're gonna seal it very tight. And then you're gonna put the second layer and you're also gonna seal that very tight. And then we'll be baking it. All right, so we have the oven preheated at 500. So first we're gonna bake it at 500 for one hour, and then we'll be reducing the heat. All right, so it's been one hour, and after an hour, you just wanna open up a little bit from the corner to make sure that there's some drippings in there. You don't want it to be dry. And if you find that there's no drippings in there, it should be a lot of dripping like this. If it's not, you wanna go ahead and add some water to the pan, but this looks fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover it back up, and I'm gonna reduce the heat to 350 and continue to cook for another two hours. So total time, this lamb is gonna be cooking for three hours. First at 500 for one hour, and then I'm reducing the heat now and I'm gonna bake it for another two hours. I went ahead and took it out the oven. This is what it looks like. It's been baking at 350 for two hours. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just broil it on high just for a few minutes until it gets a nicer color. All right, so after a few minutes of broiling, this is what it's gonna look like. And now my leg of lamb is ready to serve. So I'm gonna be serving this with roasted carrots and potatoes. You can also serve it with some white rice or salad, whatever you like. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please like, share, and subscribe.